G'day, Steve Gurney here, Beginner's Guide to Adventure Sport Book. This is a video for the paddling section. And Today we're going to be talking about how to roll a multi-sport kayak. It's easier to go to an indoor pool to learn to roll. It's calm water, it's a controlled environment, and it's warm water. If you use a dive mask, you can see what's going on in the water more easily, and it has the added bonus that it keeps the water out from your nose. In this little video you can see I'm doing some underwater confidence building exercises just to prove that it's all good underwater and that I can hold my breath for a long time. If you're a beginner you'll want an instructor or an assistant standing in the water beside you so they can pull you up when you're ready. One of the most important concepts of kayak rolling is to understand that the kayak has to come up first and your body and head last. This is how not to do it. It's really hard to try and pull your head up first which is a natural human instinct but it makes it impossible to bring the kayak up. Now I'll summarize the basic steps of the roll. So I'm going to put my paddle parallel to the kayak on the left hand side with my right hand forward. And then when I go upside down, I'm going to push that paddle right out of the water so it's up in the air. And my left hand goes underneath my bum if you like. I'm going to sweep to the side and flick the kayak up first and my head and body come up last. We'll do it again, the paddle's right out of the water, sweep out, my right hand blade does all the work, my head comes out last, with my right ear on my right shoulder. Here's an underwater view of the roll. You will notice before I start the roll, I've got my body off to the side, as close to the surface as I can, so there's less distance for my body to travel once I start the roll. Here's another underwater view of the roll. Notice that I sweep really wide away from the kayak with my right hand blade. This next exercise is the next step in confidence building. In real life, falling upside down is usually a bit of a surprise and you don't have time to set up your paddle. So in this exercise I'm randomizing my paddle. Hey, congratulations, well done! You've learned to roll in a nice, flat, calm, warm swimming pool. But is that where you really need to roll? No, it's always in a race or out on a lake when it's really rough or in a rapid when someone's banged into you and you're usually out of breath. So, you might have guessed it, you need to practice your roll technique in the real life situation and try and simulate what it might be like to roll in a race. So what I do is I go paddling and I get puffed by paddling really hard, then I fall upside down trying to surprise myself sort of and then see how good my roll is then. And I try and practice every time I go kayaking up the lake or on the river. Cool. Cold. And another wee tip, it's really useful to learn to roll on both sides because you want to get up as quick as you can so you don't hit your head on rocks and rivers. So if you can roll over, depending on what side your paddle ended up, then you're going to be able to get up quicker. Sweet! 